that's the switching crew. Yeah. That's the switch engines. The big remote control ones. Yeah, I think they're coming up here. I think they're going to start kicking for the morning. I think. Drag them up this way and kick them down the other. Yeah, well they drag them up to here and then they start kicking them down the track one by one. Well, one by one, or in batches, or it depends on how it's, what the configuration is for the day. And yeah, you can see the flashing lights on top. Yep, running under radio. You see the, you see the guy got off. Yeah, he's running under radio control. Yeah, that's the radio control set, 1826 and 1865. So I think they're about to... Yeah, listen to that, with the echo. With the echo. Yep. I think the radio control locomotives are pretty impressive. Like, look at that, right in front of us. Yeah, I mean, just listen to that rumble. Especially under the echo of the bridge. Holy crap, that... Yep, we just kicked it. Alright, what's he gonna do? That is, that's crazy. Oh, there's that Carmen. What? Yeah. Pretty much. You're a coach? Yeah, I'm clear of that red zone. Clear of red zone, right. That is just so cool how it's all radio control. And I, I used to think that it was super complicated to figure out the remote, but like there was the one at Golden Spike Tower and that, it seems really easy to understand actually. they spotted us. <laughs> he said there's someone with, with the camera who's got a bright green shirt on. Yeah. I think they spotted us. <laughs> That's hilarious. And I think I got that and I think I got that on camera too. <laughs> That's the second time we've been noticed. <laughs> wow yeah we're here every weekend. Man. Look at that. That is loud. Oh my god. <laughs> is really impressive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know which guy was talking, but I've just got it on the general channel. I just have it on the general channel right now. Yeah, there's two switch there's two guys standing down by the freight cars as the trains are rolling. 
<laughs> oh, I just I can't stop cracking up about how they had noticed us. I think that's funny. I think that's really funny. Oh, he just kicked it up a few clicks. This is really impressive watching, getting to watch this. I think this is going to be one of our new vantage points. Yeah. That one right there. Yeah, them. Oh my. Jeez. A little smoke show. Holy crap, he punched it hard. I'm probably guessing that guy driving. Oh, he just kicked it. Did you see? Cool. Look at that. He just kicked that batch down. So, yeah, this is. Yeah, they're just. And then cut the coupler. They can actually remotely operate the couplers from these engines. I think. I think. Yeah, my guess is yes. For these. Not for everything, because there's a cut bar on the front, but this one might have a modification to it where it has an air cylinder that kicks the cut bar to allow it to cut to kick a car free. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think he's on a yeah, I think he's on a different track. Or it does kind of look like he's chasing that set of stacks though. That that set of spine beams. Yeah, because the viewpoint. Yeah, we're right on the ground, right next to it. See, so yeah, I think he just hit the start button on the other one because I just heard it ring. I just heard it ring, and the the switch is on the back wall. Think. Yeah, I can see him in the cab doing something. Yeah, I still need to. I still need to show you how to start the, how to run the F7s on Clinchfield. I've been meaning to do that. I have the scenario all set up, but I haven't done it yet. Did you say it made a buzzing noise? It was a ringing noise. There's a bell. It's what we were talking about earlier. It's just the warning tone. I think there's two guys in there. I see him walking around in there. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> there it goes. I just saw the puff of smoke. Yep, you can have a, you can have a wheel handbrake or a crank handbrake. They work on the same principle. That must be an older engine since it has a wheel handbrake. The brakes just came off, so he should move in a minute. Yeah, since there are people driving that one, and this one's not even equipped with radio control because I don't see the lights on top of the cab. Nope, he just pushed the throttle up, so he should start moving any second. That door is still wide open.
Yep, just heard the alternator. Oh no, actually, though, that was the compressor spooling up that I just heard. No, the compressor provides the air pressure for brakes. For your brakes. Yeah, as the air pressure applied releases them, when you lose air pressure, they apply. It's a fail safe. I think this is the up. Uh, well, this isn't. I think these are switching engines. Oh, let me see. Well, they don't have the lights on the roof, so. I, don't either. I think this is another switching set. It's just not a radio control one. Looks like he's just throwing something out. Oh my gosh, that scared both of us out of our skin. I mean, it just sounded a lot louder because we're under the bridge. I think that's one of the, I think that's a remote end. That was really cool. Oh, and here comes the other set in the other direction. This is that remote set.
and he kicked it. Yeah, just see how he revved up and then immediately revved back down to get the momentum. Yeah, this is basically what we have. Yeah, this is what we see at the other end. Only we've got a better view down here. Now he's throwing the switch for the next kick. Yeah, this is I think our new vantage point for this. Going back for the next kick. Or not. Oh boy. And pull the pin. There it goes. Did you see him yank the pin? They just ran up next to it, kicked the pin, and then there it goes. He just, yeah, he just back and forth, back and forth. You can smell the exhaust from when he hits the throttle. You can smell all the exhaust fumes. Bad. Yeah, it's good because it's a, it's an awesome smell. It's bad because they're not good for you. There's the, there's that Carmen again. I think he was just waiting to see what the locomotive team was going to do. This is awesome! Man, that rumble is loud! Release the brakes. that time. Pull the pin, kick the box, keep doing it. Oh, where are you sending that box car? Oh, he's going to go a couple of uh, stack car. Oh yeah, I think we've come, I think we found our new vantage point now. This is amazing. This is really cool to watch. That is just insane. I just gives it that extra kick of throttle and then off it goes. Yeah, it pulls the pin. So that's so you only need one guy to do this. Because one guy, he's got the controls for the engines and then all he has to do is just run up alongside it as he increases the power via the remote and then pull the pin. Kick that last car off. Oh, last two, I guess. Reach in, uh, pull the pin, and let her roll. You get it? Yeah, he got it. That is so crazy. So I think that signifies there isn't a remote uncoupling function on those switching diesels. Because you see, he had to run in and pull the pin. And you notice how he pulls it on the car side only? Not on the engine side? Did you notice that as he was getting that last car? Let me get it over here.
<laughs> this is cool. See, I think he's heading off to just grab another batch. What? What'd you say? Thing of that, it's that white one down there. Well, I mean, it's a good guess, and it does look like it because I'm watching, I'm following the track, and it looks like that's exactly where he's heading. I think this is our new vantage point from now on. This is a great vantage point from for filming. Well, that's a good thing. It happens. Oh. That pigeon almost flew into my face. Yeah, we'll probably see a lot of tra yard kicking this morning. Oh yeah. I mean, really, the it's good, and the way that is is because the front engine gets the command, and then it signals it to the rear engine via the multi-unit lines between the engines. That's how they communicate with each other. Well, we don't know if he's going to kick that whole line or not. Oh, he just throttled up again. Oh, he put it hard down that. See how hard he's going? Look at that. Oh man, he's putting, he's really pushing it. Oh geez, look at that. He pushed it hard that time. Either that or he's putting on a smoke show. I don't know which. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, if he's going to kick this line, that's we're going to be here for a while. If he's getting ready to kick this line. Holy mackerel. That was cool. never ends. Oh my god, that's a lot of brake load. He's slowing down. He's still rolling though. Hey, the for the whole day. Well, he's continuing oh, ahead. Brake better checking spot. What the hell? That's some strange artwork on that car. Ah. They must just have been moving that set out. You see that okay, green car right there? Yeah. The weird artwork. Okay, thank you. That's crazy. 
bunch of green, covered hoppers. Oh, there he is hanging off. Yeah, there he is. Took the slack out. Gonna spoil it by doing that, Jeff. Oh yeah, this oh, is gonna man. be a big one. You I think this is a kick. A He's heading for that box car. That's gonna end badly. Oh no, he missed him. I think you thought it was a big head of steam, but I think it was just enough to get that initial shove to get everything rolling. Just that initial push. Kidding. Call it ten four five four. Ten call.
Oh, there he is. Yeah, lash up. Just give me a second. first. Wow. Yep. This is unbelievable. the bird, of course. I don't think it's going to stop. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I see him way, way down there. Well, that's the guy who's driving the engines. It looks like he's going to cut it because it's still going for quite a ways and, he's, and it's slowing down.
can hear it rock back and forth. There he goes, pulled the slack. Yep, and I think he cut it. Yep, he cut it right at that second car. Back for no one on the run for the next one. This is pretty insane. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yep, just beyond it. Did you see how he stepped on the switch lever and then flipped it over? I think he was just waiting for the slack to come in before he climbed on. Did you see he moved the switch on his controller to start the power? Yeah, that was neat. That was really neat. Ah, there he goes. Pretty cool how he just rides on the end of the train with that remote. There's oh. You see how he's got his arm wrapped over the railing on the end of that car? That's so he can still operate the remote, but also hold on tight so in case the car gets jolted, he doesn't go flying. pushing power. PTI, Susie, come in. Can't change. Set the tower. Yep. Do me a favor, can you cross over to Six Track Road, South End? Are you sure? I can see another engine set 
way down there. Here he comes. There you can see the guy standing on the head end. Here he comes. Hey, remote set. Same one. This is, we pretty much just been watching this guy all morning. Excuse me. Well, it's just grab and go, pretty much. They don't bother with the air hoses when they're doing these switching moves. The engine has enough brake power to stop it. Well, yeah, you wouldn't stop it then. You'd be along for the ride at that point. No kidding. And see, he hits it hard just to get the power in, to get moving, and then lets it off. Yeah, that's always cool to watch. Wow. Oh, 
the thunderous noise almost makes your head shake. <laughs> It's metal on metal with the brakes.